just makes a mess of everything. You clean up your spill and then a car drives off and you spend 15 minutes cleaning up the tracks of the car. So we control that really tightly. So we're really careful about moving um, moving waste because that can be the biggest problem. You collect it all and then you send it everywhere. The right the full cost. Yeah. The UAV should launch around 1.45. They exercise, they break into their groups and start about two, finish at three. We'll stand around and look at the, what the forward staging area guys have done because that's all very new. Um, we've obviously got representatives from uh, PPS here. Um, welcome guys. Um, obviously the team from Vendoli. We've got uh, Julia and her team from Aerometrics who are going to have a UAV up in the sky, hopefully, weather permitting. We got the call that uh, this plane was activated. I then contacted, as a trial, contacted the switchboard at the city of Coburn, which was always going to be a gamble. Um, and it worked. We got straight through to the management team, which is great. So they've activated the City Coburn's plan. So you may see other people down here because in a real incident, they can offer a hell of a lot of resources. They've got so many connections. Out there, so you guys are all experts in your field. So we'll turn it over to the team leaders to um, get under wrap. Get set up on the shoreline. So the spill's coming into the shoreline. We're going to get set up over there. We've got a skimmer, pump, um, and a boom. So we're going to contain, like your control contain cleaner. So we're going to contain the spill in one area. John's going to deploy the boom. We're going to anchor it in the middle, and John's going to pull the boom around to match the, the, the to, to match the tide and the current and the wind and all those sort of things. So depending on what the situation is before that, if we don't see any other other, other wildlife and they're basically waiting for you to deploy the boom, it could be an opportunity to grab one of them because they've got boat skills, you know, navy and everything, and so they could be a good assistant to you. Inflated the boom, mate, so we're ready when you are. We lost pressure in the
powering up. Okay. Okay, taking off. We've got a medical emergency over by the, where the boom is. Okay, yep. Can, have a look? Can we go and have a look, please? Yeah, sure. Rotate right 180, Andrew. Yeah, sir, I'm going to get us some visual. Okay. Keep. Between the boom and the. Rotate right, rotate right. Okay, hold position and track forward. So the boom was out there at last. Might be in there. Over. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Very nice. So I personally think it's been great today because we would have learned a lot from it. And I just want to thank Nick again for, yeah, awesome. for allowing us to it's use the great. facilities. Matt, you've got to have something to say. Come on. No, no, look, it was great. It was, um, I mean, it's good for my guys to get out. I think they saw how difficult it is actually to launch some of this equipment that we use. Um, it's just not easy. And um, even when it was just Pete, it was slipping by and see, uh, Darren, they want to dive in and <laughs> grab it, didn't you, mate? Where are you? You know where he's gone? Oh, there you are. Yeah, because his boom was going up in the air and the feet were slipping underneath. And, um, you know, it, it's just not easy. And, and it was, you know, reasonably good conditions out there. So, and Jono got the got the, um, the anchor down with Mitch. So that was great. I mean, that, that's not easy stuff to do. And so to actually go and physically do it, I think it was great. I'm trying to remember how to tie your knots from Cub Scout. <laughs> <laughs> when, you're, when you're under pressure yeah. and the bloody on, boat keeps on, conking out, you're like, Jesus! Don't you mean girl? Maybe two years is good, Matt. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah me too, yeah. The other, the, other, the other person that I... Well, there's a couple of people I just want to thank. You know, um, Julia and her guys, Andrew and um, Jason, for for assisting. I think there's some potential there. So thanks, guys, for turning up. Um, and Anna. You know, um, she really got thrown in the deep end and it's it's something that is going to happen more and more because it's an expectation by the regulator to have an on-scene commander that can coordinate shoreline, not necessarily oil spill cleanup and stuff like that, I don't mean that, but, but in terms of shoreline and OWR. So she was thrown in the deep end, we threw a lot of curved balls at her and um, she did pretty well. You know, she's going to come out of this learning a lot as well. Um, so, you know, well done. Yeah. And thanks, guys, for 